Hey there everyone, um, your Yankee Messiah here coming at you guys with another video. Um, originally, I wanted to talk about Dark Side of the Ring from last night, uh, the plane ride from hell. Um, I recorded a, a seven minute video and then what I wanted to do was upload uh, the Michael K show, uh, the audio of him talking about the disaster that happened with the Yankees last night. Uh, don't even get me started again. And then, as I was about to upload my video, uh, news came out of Ric Flair. And I want to share it with you, y'all. And then, you're going to get my take. So, uh, PW Insider is reporting now that uh, the Cashfield commercial campaign which features Ric Flair as the star of a number of spots for the Car Shield brand has been paused. A spokesperson for Intermedia, the advertising agency which handles Car Shield's commercials, told PWInsider.com, and I quote, We take these matters very seriously. As of right now, we are pausing the campaign and we will do our due diligence. And PWInsider.com was also told that there is currently no timetable for the spots to return to the airwaves and that the commercial will soon disappear from the airwaves pending additional investigation and decisions. Now, we're seeing this whole ripple effect of what happened last night with Dark Side of the Ring. Tommy Dreamo was really the first one. Uh, Tommy Dreamer was told not to go to Nashville today. Uh, they are taping Impact Wrestling this weekend. And a few hours later, Tommy Dreamer was uh, suspended. Now, people are asking me because I am a Busted Open radio fan. I, I'm part of the Busted Open Nation. Um, has Cyrus um, made a statement? I could tell you this right now. They haven't made any statement. Um... I would suppose they would do so in a couple of days. I want to hear Tommy Dreamer's story on Busted Open. And if that happens, I will put that up for you guys for you to hear. So, in the documentary last night, uh, you had a flight attendant. And this was a flight attendant that was on the plane ride from hell in 2002. And this was from London to the United States. Uh, she stated that Ric Flair, naked, with the exception of his robe, cornered her in the galley, in the, uh, galley of the plane, making unwanted advances towards her. Now, Ric Flair is denying allegations. Of course, he's going to do that. And several days ago, he was on Renee Young's podcast. And this is what he said, and I quote, God, I've heard about it too. Just when things are going good for me, and yeah, there were rumors of him going to AEW. Listen, you, and when he's talking about you, he's talking about Renee Young. You put me on your podcast after. We'll see how it plays out because I was there, and I don't care whose name I got to drop if the heat falls on me. I know who was where and what and who and what took place. I know the whole story. End of quote. And this brings me into my, my thoughts on this. And let me just say it like this. I know there's a lot of people here in this YWC, there's friends of mine that ask me what are my thoughts on this. Let me just say it like this. Out of respect, I'm not going to be talking about this. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a fan of Dark Side of the Ring. I love it. It's Guilty Pleasure TV. I got nothing wrong with it. Okay? And I'm going to leave it to those who care to share the outrage, the ripple effect. Like I said, I want to hear Tommy Dreamer's thing on this. We all do. Ric Flair, he said he wants to go on Renee Young's podcast and explain his story. Because 
That's what we do in this calendar year, in 2021. And when it comes to me, I don't want to rehash terrible things that happened 20 years ago. I don't want it to be part of this YouTube docket of videos that I'm coming out with. Because right now, we're seeing something great in professional wrestling right now. We're seeing history being made with AEW. We're seeing AEW in about five days from now going to have one of their biggest shows in Queens, New York, Arthur Ashe Stadium. Even Tony Khan was talking about it today and busted open. I'm all about the news, the rumors, and the topics in today's professional wrestling. And when I find out about these news, rumors, and topics, I want to give you my opinion on that, okay? So, I want people that are going to watch this video, and I just want to say to all my viewers, subscribers, and my fans, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel, and there's going to be definitely more when it comes to news, rumors, and topics. And please don't ask me again about this whole Ric Flair thing. Just respect my opinion, respect how I want to play when it comes to this. Because there's going to be a lot of people that talk about it. And we want to hear their opinions on it. Not me. Okay? So, subscribe to the channel. I am out. Peace.